Hello folks, this is Yvette. I am back. I took a little hiatus. Um, as you all know, my mom had passed away and um, I had to take a little hiatus. And um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody for the overwhelming love and support I received from everybody. Um, it was just wonderful, so I want to thank you all for all your love and support that you gave me um, during the time when my mother had passed away and for understanding why I, I, I wasn't on because um, there was a lot that I had to deal with on an emotional level. Um, but I'm okay now. I'm, I'm doing well when I'm not 100% okay, but I'm, do, I'm doing well and um, you know which leads me to today's um, live which I wanted to speak about hi Sarah hi Tim hey Murphy how are you sweetheart um, I wanted to talk about um, living life to the to the fullest I think a lot of times we get so involved in um, making money and worrying about other things and we forget to live our life to the fullest and um, I kind of want to talk about that today um, because of course it has been coming up for me a lot lately and well I just want to start out by saying we have become zombies nowadays it seems as if um, hey hon how are you Sarah um, it seems as if we're living our lives in in a trance Hey Andre, thank you for joining in. It's like we're living our life in, in a trance um, and, and we're like zombies uh, doing the same things day in and day out while being stuck in various routines that have accumulated during the years. We fall into this rut. Routines that make it seem like we have a sense of stability in an unstable, ever-changing um, universe. But do we really have, have this, you know? I mean, I, I see... Sorry about that, we got cut off. Someone was trying to call me, as usual. <laughs> as soon as I go on, someone wants to call me or text me, you know. Um, so like I was saying, we, we tend to have this, this sense of stability, but we really fall into a rut and we forget to live our lives. We start worrying about money and this and that. And yeah, money is great to have money and all these things, but health is more important than that because you can't make money if you don't have your health peace of mind as well and I mean looking and thinking about all these celebrities that took their lives recently like Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain which was like Jesus holy smokes um and, and, and I don't think it has to do with money I think it has to do with the fact that we're not at peace and we're not happy inside we fall into this rut and we forget to live and we have to live our life fully to enjoy our lives we have to stop and smell the roses and the flowers. Hey, Freddie, what's up, brother? Hey, Alex, what's up? Um, we have to stop and smell the flowers and be grateful and have the courage to live a full life. And a lot of times we don't. So I would say first, love yourself enough to have a wonderful life and live life on your own terms, you know, and courage. It takes, it takes courage, yes, and to find balance. Bessels, Alex, how are you, sweetie? Um, and it takes courage to live your life to the fullest. You know, it really takes courage. Uh, like the Cowardly Lion said, and it was a lot of courage. Anyway, um, nothing more, nothing less. This sounds like rather minimalist and easy to cope with, but lack of courage is a key factor that prevents most people from living their lives to the fullest. We tend to have so many false fears you know oh what if if I do this oh if it doesn't work out so what if it doesn't work out you try again until you you get what you want until you, you know you gotta live your life to the fullest because life let me tell you it comes and it goes like that you know so you gotta take advantage of it and don't let fears get in your way don't let haters get in your way believe me have I listened to what other people said to me about me healing my body I probably wouldn't be alive today I definitely would have been wouldn't have not been healed and I definitely wouldn't be alive today so 
I lived life on my own terms and I had the courage to go out there and do what I needed to do to heal my life. And now I'm pouring that knowledge into other people and helping them. And it's the greatest, greatest feeling. Yep, absolutely, Freddie. Also, listen to your heart. Become aware of the things that your heart desires. The most important loan we receive is life. Know that, okay? Life is a loan. We're only here for a certain point. So, life was loaned to us. Don't waste your time doing things you don't love or have a passion for. Jump on your dreams. Stay focused and make them become a reality. Our life loan will eventually end and you don't want to lay in your deathbed thinking what if what if what if that is like the worst thing also let go of the past if you're trying to move forward or drive forward but you're always looking through the rearview mirror you will not be happy you will not move forward most of our worries resolve around events and situations in the past or the upcoming future. I know people, people in my old family that have lived for 20 years in the past. And it is so, so sad to see someone doing that. Live life to the fullest, let go of the past, let that shit go, okay folks? Also, um, learn to live in the present moment. Learn to live in the now. Most human beings are either very focused on the future and worrying about that, and the changes that will come along with it are clearly living in the past full of regret. Learn to enjoy your present moment and see how life will be. Live every day. Hey, Donald, what's up? Live every day as a fresh new start. Don't be held back by what happened to you in the past, what happened to you yesterday, a week ago, or years ago. Let it go. It's in the past. It doesn't exist anymore because it's in the past. Live in the now. Live in the present moment. Yes, it is true, Tim. Very true. Also, hey, Sajad, what's up, buddy? Also, live your truth. Be true to who you are. Stop trying to please other people or be someone else. It's better to be an original version of yourself than to be an exact duplicate of someone else. Fine, we may admire someone and... and really like look up to them and we can even say that they're a mentor but you don't want to be them you want to be your own amazing version of yourself you want to live your truth because we all have that little special something to contribute to the world that the world needs also um learn to forgive if you hold on to past hurts and anger you're doing a disservice to yourself if you hold on to past hurts and anger, again, I will say it, you're doing a disservice to yourself and your life. Living with anger and hurt just creates disease in our body. And those folks who don't know that watch my videos and I talked a lot about that, about how holding on to certain emotions and things from the past can create disease in our body, dis-ease in our body. So watch that. Let go of the past, okay? Um, you don't need to hold on to it and learn to forgive okay learn to forgive because it's very important make the most of your life and live it to the fullest and learn to forgive and be proactive stop waiting for others around you to do something or to give you permission instead take action for yourself take action for the things that you want to create in life and create your own opportunities you you can't wait for opportunities you can go out there and create your own opportunities okay um and there are opportunities out there but if not create your own opportunities you know so many people have done so many things by creating their own opportunities and it's very empowering to others and it's very inspirational to others also be committed to your growth the higher your consciousness level, the richer your life experience will be. Achieving a higher conscience comes from your commitment to your growth. So work on yourself. Um, grow, read books, listen to CDs. Do things to become a better version of yourself. And just live in your truth and be happy. Just be happy and live life to the fullest. Because folks, we're not around for a long time, like I said.
you know life is the greatest loan that we are given anyway this is all i have to share hey victor how are you this is all i have to share today i haven't been on for a while like i said my mom had passed away and um you know i was um dealing with that and stuff but i know my mom is in a better place and she's at peace now um but anyway this is all i have to say for today and share with you folks you can follow me on youtube which is yvette laboy wellness coach on facebook my business page is yvette laboy lupus wellness coach on instagram i am one holistic diva on twitter i am holistic gal i'm yvette laboy from yvette laboy Don. Hey, hey, Lexington Lou, how are you? Um, I am Yvette LaBoy from YvetteLaBoy.com. We inspired women to get healthy and transform their lives because, and men as well, because we want you to become that fabulous diva and devo you were meant to be. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and all the moms who had to step up and be both. Oh, you're welcome, Tim. I'm glad that it, you found the information helpful. Um... I'll see you all next week. God bless. And next week, I'll be doing a video, one of my wellness videos. Okay? Thank you so much. Take care and God bless. Have a great week.